Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 188. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it, shall we? It says, I'm going to read it to you in the event that you have trouble with my handwriting. It says a three digit number, a three digit number is such that its unit digit is three times ten digit. We are further told that if the hundred digit and the ten digits are interchanged, if the hundreds digit and the tens digit are interchanged, the number is reduced by 450. On the other hand, we are told if, however, if the hundred digit is halved and its ten digits and the unit digits are interchanged, the number is diminished by only 282. Question simply is what is that number? You will recognize, for those of you who have been watching these uh, problems in the proper sequence, you will recognize that this problem is very similar to a whole bunch of problems that we have already done in the past. The very first one we did, the very first problem that we did, similar to this one, was the one that dealt with two-digit number, and that was problem number 65. And then the next one we did was number, number 91, then we did 111, 122, 168, 169, 170, 171, 175, 177, and this one as you're looking at is 188 and tomorrow we'll do one more on the same topic number 189 so if you have watched any one, any one of these problems then you know how to set it up you know how to solve it if you want to give it a shot first you want to try if you want to give it a try first i'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video pause the video do the problem and then compare your work against the work that you and i will do together okay so i'll give you five seconds here we go All right, here we go. The very first thing we need to understand, very first thing we need to do here before we begin the solution, is to understand exactly what is what is what is it, what it is that we are being told. So let's start, shall we? They say the three-digit number is such that. So we have a three-digit number. For example, we have a three-digit number. For example, for example, I'm just going to make something up. How about 485? 485. That's the three-digit number. The number that we are looking for is such that its unit digit is three times ten digits. Unit digit here is five. 5 is not 3 times 8, so this, this won't work. We're looking for something like, we're looking for, for example, if we had, instead of 85, if we had, say, 39, now at least here, th that does not mean this is a number we're looking for, but at least it, it, it satisfies the first condition. It says unit digit, which is 9 here, is 3 times 10 digit. 10 digits is 3. This is the unit digit, this is the 10th digit. As you can see, unit digit is 3 times 10th digit. It goes on to tell. It further goes on to tell us if the hundred digits, if the hundred digits and the ten digits are interchanged, our hundred digit here, the number was 439 that, 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 we, that we started out as an example. If the hundred digits and the ten digits are interchanged, so ten digit, whatever the ten digit was, you put that in place of the hundred digit, and whatever the hundred digit was, you put that in place of a ten digit. I shouldn't have done that now. Huh? If you interchange, we are told, we are told that the new number that we get is reduced by exactly 450. For example here, 9 minus 9 is 0, 13 minus 4 is 9. Oh, this is reduced by exactly 90. It is reduced by exactly 90. What we are looking for something, what we are looking for is something that is reduced by exactly 450. As you can clearly see, this is not the number we are looking for. The last condition that we have to fulfill is that, it says if, however, its 100 digits is half, so the number we were dealing with was 439, 100 digit is 4, so you take the 4 and you cut it in half, we end up with 2. If the 100 digits is halved, and it's 10 digits and the unit digits are interchanged, 10 digit is 9, 9 comes in the place of a 10 digit, and 3, which is a 10 digit, goes in the place of a unit digit. If we do that, it says the number is diminished by 282. Again, you can see the 439 won't do, because we don't know what 439 minus 293 is, but we do know that it is not 282, because 282 ends in a 2, and this is going to end in a 6. So 439, of course, is not a number. The question is, what is that number? Now that we understand the question, the very first thing we need to answer here is, how do we express the idea, the notion, the concept of a three-digit number using the language of algebra, using an algebraic expression? How does one express an idea of a three-digit number? For example, for example, if you're dealing with 439, 4 represents the 100-digit, T represents the, the 3 represents the 10 digit, 
9 represents the unit digit but we cannot express we cannot express the notion of three digit number as HTU if H happens to be 4 and T happens to be equal to 3 and U happens to be equal to 9 these are the three unknown quantities we cannot simply represent the concept of a three digit number like that in the language of algebra if you were to write this and if it turns out that H is equal to 4 and it, it turns out that T is equal to 3 and it turns out that U is equal to 9 and if you were to express it like this this is simply in the language of algebra what you have told me here is simply 4 times 3 times 9 4 times 3 times 9 is not what we're looking for it, this HTU does not express the number we're looking for it expresses the is this ex, this this expression expresses the product of the digits how do I express a three digit number using the language of algebra let's find out shall we let's find out so let's pretend that let's pretend that h is equal to 4 t is equal to 3 u is equal to 9 question is how do I write 439 in the language of algebra if 4 happens to be, if a 100 digit happens to be 4, if the 10 digit happens to be 3 and so on and so forth. Let's find out, shall we? For example here, 439. Why is 439 so cold? 439 so cold because this, this digit, this digit tells us how many hundreds we have. We have 400, which is, why, which is probably why it's called 439, 400. This digit tells us how many tens we have. We have 3 tens. And finally, this digit tells us how many unit how many units we have. We have nine units. And there is your there is your, we have nine units. I, I didn't mean to say I mean I didn't mean to put you there. I meant to put one there. One represents. But this is hundred. This is ten. That one should have gone there. I should I should write in in reverse order. We have nine. We have nine units. And what we're going to do now is to simply replace these numbers with their respective variables. Four. How many hundred? How many hundreds do we have? We have four hundreds, but we do not know that value. We do not know. It's an unknown quantity. So it's going to be u times one hundred. How many tens we have? We have three tens, but we don't know what the, what the value of t is. It's the unknown quantity. So it's t times ten. And how many units we have? We have nine units, but again, it's an unknown quantity. So it's u times one. And this is how we express. This is how we express the, the notion of a three digit number 100 a u times 100 plus t times 10 plus u times 1 all we have to do now is to simplify this thing present it in a little bit more palatable manner a more more elegant manner instead of putting u times 100 point we write that down as 100 this should not be u this is wrong that's not what I meant to put here 4 here does not represent how many units we have we have 9 units we have 9 units Four represents how many hundreds we have. This is this is letter H. It was a mistake on my part. This is how many hundreds we have. We have four hundreds. I don't know why I put down U. So, four hundred H times one hundred is simply one hundred H. T times ten is simply ten T. And finally, U times one is just U. And this is how we represent the idea of a three-digit number. This is how we represent the idea of a three-digit number. Unless we understand this concept, we cannot do anything with this problem. This is this is the building block. This is the foundation. This is this is the this is the starting point. Now we can begin our process. As you can clearly see, we have three unknown quantities. Unknown quantities are we have to find out what the hundred digit of this number is. We have to figure out what the ten digit of this number is, and we have to figure out what the unit digit of this number is. Since we have three unknown quantities, h, t, and u. It stands to reason that we must have three independent equations. Where are we going to find three independent equations? Well, they must be buried somewhere in the problem. Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out where they are. Well, the very first thing is here. Very first one is here. It says the unit digit. It says the unit digit is three times three times the tens digit. There you go. That's our first. That's our first equation. The unit digit. Let's put it up here. That's our first equation. The unit digit we are told is three times the ten digit. If we're going to represent the unit digit with letter U, unit digit is is unit digit is letter U. Is means equals three times ten digit. That's our first equation. What is the second equation? Second equation is right there. If the hundred digits and the ten digits are interchange, 
So our, our, the number, our number is here. The original number that we're looking for is 100 times h plus 10 times t plus u. The second part is that the 100 digit and the 10 digits are interchanged. So you put you put 100 digits and 10 digits are interchanged. You put the t in place of h and h in place of t. 100 digits and 10 digits are interchanged. So it becomes 100 times t plus 10 times h and the unit digit stays the same. If you were to do that, it tells the number is reduced by exactly 450. So let's write down this new number here. 100 times t plus 10 times h plus u. This number we are told is such that it is 450 less than the original number. The number, the original number we are told if you were to do this thing, if you were to interchange the 100 digit and the 10 digit, we are told if you were to do that, the original number is diminished, is reduced by exactly 450. By exactly 450. That's our second equation. Well, the original number that we had is right here. It's right here. 100 H plus 10 T plus U. Is this, is this correct? Is it correct to say that this, this quantity the original number, what this says right here, the equation the way we wrote it, the equation we wrote it is that the original number is same as the new number when we interchange the 10 digit and the 100 digit. That of course, that clearly is not the case. This new number is 450 less than the old number. So how can we justify putting an equal sign there? The only way we can justify putting an equal sign there, because you see this number, this number, the new number, the new number is less than the old number. By how much? By 450. This new quantity is 450 less than the old quantity, the original quantity. So how can we justify putting an equal sign? Well, it's very simple. Just add 450 to it. Just simply take this quantity and add 450 to it. Voila. That's our second equation. We have to work on that equation, but before we do that, let's figure out the third equation, shall we? Again, we're going to work on the third equation here. Third equation says, if the 100 digits is half, whatever the edge is, we take half of that. So instead of 100 h, it's going to be half of that, h over 2 times 100. In other words, in other words, 50 times h. You take the digit and you take a half of that. When you take a half of that, you, you, that 2 goes into 100, it becomes 50 h. What else do we do? And we interchange the 10 digit and the unit digit are interchanged. So unit digit, how many, how many, how how many tens we had? That's how many units we have now. So instead of instead of u ones, we have t ones. And instead of t tens, we have u tens. Now the unit digit and the ten digits are interchanged. And when we do that, we are told in that case that the number is diminished by 282. By 282. So that's our next equation. Tell you what, we'll work, we'll work on this equation. We'll work on this last part in, in a second. This new number that you see there, this new number that we see here, if we were to add 282 to it, 282 to it, this is equal to, this quantity plus 282 is our original number. Or better yet, make it sort of putting like this. This quantity that you see here is equal to this new quantity plus 282. Because the new quantity is 282 less than the original quantity. This is the original quantity. The original quantity therefore is equal to the new number that we obtain when we take half of the 100 digit and interchange the 10 digit and the unit digit. This new number is 282 less, therefore, if you were to add 282 82 to it, it will become equal to the original number. That's our third equation. But before we worry about that equation, let's simplify this thing, okay? And we need the room, so we can erase all of this thing. Okay, I'm going to pick up speed now. So we have 100t. We have 100t here. We have 10t here. We have 100t here. Bring the 10t here. We'll end up with a 90t. We have 100 h here, 100 h here, and we have, oh sorry, we have 10 h here, 100 h here. Bring the 100 h to this side. 10 h minus 100 h will give us negative 90 h. Something is drastically wrong. Plus, plus 450 is equal to zero. That's fine. What I should have done, you see. We want, we, want, we want this unknown quantity to be equal to the known quantity. This is fine. I can, I can, we can continue here or I can restart it. Let's bring this 90t on that side so it becomes 
90 and let's bring this let's bring this 90 edge on that side so it becomes 90 edge bring the 90 t to that side becomes minus 90 t equal to 450 which is something I should have done from the very beginning I wasn't paying attention this is what we're looking for let's redo it let's redo it leave the 450 on this side let's leave the 450 uh, on this side we have 100 h and we have 10 h bring the 10 h to that side so it becomes 90 h we have 10 t and 100 t bring the 100 t on that side so 10 t minus 100 t will become minus 90 t there you go so we have a 90 90 450 as you can see they are all multiple of 90 divide the entire equation by 90 and we will find that 5 equals h minus t or h minus t equals 5 so that's our second equation that's our second equation now we'll work on the third equation this is right here is the equation we're going to rewrite it we need the room so this quantity that you see there is equal to this original quantity right here 100 h plus 10 t plus u and instead of working instead of working with it way down there instead of working on it right down there we're going to erase all of this thing we're going to erase the thing, all of this thing we're simply going to make make a note our first equation is u equals 3 times t and our second equation is this this quite right here our second equation that we've obtained our second equation that we obtain is right here h minus t equals 5 this is our second equation this is our first equation now we'll work on this guy now we'll work on this guy on the top here so our original number is 100h plus 10t plus u and if we take a half of a h 100 digit which is h over 2 just because I want to do it in a hurry doesn't mean I should make it sloppy because then it's difficult to read so h over 2 we take half of the 100 digits half of the 100 digits plus the 10 digit becomes a unit digit unit digit becomes a 10 digit so 10 times u plus t but that these two quantities are not equal to each other this this thing this thing is 282 less so we have to add 282 to this side there you go let's pick up the red marker so we can see what we are doing here this 2 cancels out with 100 and we end up with 50 edge ok watch what happens here we have 50 edge 50 edge and here we have 100 edge bring the 50 edge to this side it will become 100 edge minus 50 edge is 50 edge we have 10 t here and we have a t here we have a 10 t here and we have a t here I bring the t to this side it becomes 90 and then we have a 10 u here and we have a u here bring the 10 10 u here it becomes minus 9 u becomes minus 9 u and that equals has to equal 282 this is what we're dealing with now we make our substitution it's very simple very straightforward what can we do why don't we express everything in terms of u why don't we express everything in terms of t i mean let's express everything in terms of t let's express everything in terms of t so u is 3t u is 3t let's put it in. Let's put this thing right here. U equals 3t. That's the first substitution we're going to make. U equals 3t. Minus 9 times 3t. So that part is done. We also know that uh, h equals, from here, this equation tells us that h equals 5 plus t. Bring the 5 to that side, 5 plus t. h equals 5 plus t. Let make, let's make this substitution right here. 50 plus 5 plus t and this of course is just t voila now we have everything in terms of t we are home free you just have to take your time and pay attention do you understand and i hope and pray to god that i did not make a mistake myself already so far the work that we have done 50 times 5 is 250 because it's very easy to make a mistake when you're not concentrating 50 times t would be 50t especially when you're talking at the same time 
when you're speaking at the same time. So this 90 just comes down, and this is negative 2070. Let's see what it works out to be. Hopefully something nice. First thing we're going to do is, we're going to get rid of this 250. We're going to get rid of this 250. Subtract 250 from both sides. And when you subtract 250 from 282, it becomes 32. This is, I don't know where we're going to, where, where we're going to go with it. We'll find out in a second. 50t plus 90 is 59t minus 27, minus 27. Keep your fingers crossed. 9 minus 7 is 2. And 5 minus 2 is 3. What do you know? By golly. What do you know? It turns out that all of this quantity is 32t. Well, that makes life very simple. 32t, some, whoever made this problem was a very nice person apparently. And therefore, this implies that t must be 1. 10 digit is 1. Let me rewrite it. I don't like the way it came out. t equals 1. Well, if t equals 1, this thing tells us, this thing tells us that u must be 3 times 1. u must be 3 times 1, which is 3. That in turn implies that u must be 3. And if the u is 3, then 100 digit, well actually we don't need, we don't need that, that part. We can from here, t is equal to 1. If t is equal to 1, h must be. This also implies, if t is equal to 1, this also implies that h H must be 5 plus t, which is 1. 5 plus, this implies that t is equal to 5 plus 1, which is 6. So what is that number we are claiming that we found? The number that we are claiming is right here. What is h equal to? That, that, that doesn't look right. That was the value of h, not t. This is, this is h. I wasn't paying attention. You see right here, h equals 5 plus t, and t is 1. h equals 5 plus t, 5 plus 1 is 6, which is our h. So what is that number we are claiming that we have found? Well, the 100 digit we are claiming is 6. Right here, 100 digit we are claiming is 6. 10 digit we are claiming is 1. And the unit digit we are claiming is 3. The number that we are making, making claim, we are claiming that the unknown quantity is actually 613. That's it, we are done. As far as the problem is concerned, we are done. What we are going to do now is what we always do, what we, have all, we, what we have been doing always, which is to take a few extra seconds and make sure that our work is correct. We are going to verify our work, make sure that the answer that we arrived at actually makes sense. Let's find out, shall we? Let's, let's, let's make sure of that. So 613 is what we are claiming here. Let's make a note of it up, up here. So here is the verification. 613 is what we are claiming. As you can see, the unit digit is 3 times the 10 digit. That's the first, uh, first indication that we are on the right path. And then we were, we were told that if you were to interchange the unit digit and the 100 digit, whatever the 10 digit, uh, unit digit and the 10 digit, 10 digit comes in the place of 100 digit, 100 digit goes in place of 10 digit. If you were to do that, we were told 11, 11 minus 5, 11 minus 5, 11 minus 6 is 5, and 5 minus 1 is 450. We were told that if you were to do that, the original number reduces by exactly 450, which is exactly what we found here. If you were to interchange, the 100 digit comes in the place of 10 digit, and the 10 digit goes in the place of 100 digit. If you were to do that, we were told in that case, the number is reduced by 450, which also checks out. Another thing we were told is that if we were to take our original number and half and have the 100 digit, 100 digit is 6, if you half it, and interchange the places of unit digit and the 10 digit, unit digit comes in the place of 10 digit, and the 10 digit goes in the place of unit digit, if you were to do that, then we were told that the number is reduced by exactly 282. Let's find out, let's find out what we get here. 3 minus 1 is 2. Again, 11 minus 3 is 8. And 5 minus 3 is 2 again. Voila. It checks out. Our work is indeed correct. One more time. We lucked out. Bye now.